So there was a question on uh, X-ray of your foreign body coil in the esophagus was given, I think. Okay, can you see me now? So whenever you are seeing the face of the coin in an AP view, it is definitely in the esophagus, right? So the answer is the foreign body should be in the esophagus, right? Okay. A person was at a restaurant, foot stuck, and his friend is a doctor. Where will he make a cut for the person to breathe? Was this the same question? What were the options? Was this the question, exact question? Malam party staging anesthesia madam will take care of. Yes. So if the foot has, okay, if there is a block in the upper part, you have to utilize the lower part. That's what I have been telling in the class. Okay. So, yeah. So immediately the accessible part, wherever. So can't intubate, can't ventilate situations. You have to go for cricothyrotomy, right? Fine. If it was IBQ shown, image was shown, it could have been cricothyroidotomy only, right? So identify. This was the question there. So this was rinky sedima. Am I fine? Tracheostomy option is there and if the patient was in the hospital mentioned in the question then you can go for tracheostomy. If the patient has already come to the emergency room okay then you can go for tracheostomy. Usually immediate airway access you can get immediately in the cricothyroidotomy only then after you go for permanent tracheostomy. Right? This was there. Rinky sedima was there, no? Yes, okay. Fine. Nine One more noise induced hearing loss at 4000 hertz, a dip was given. So that was noise induced hearing loss. He was a factory worker also, it was given in the question. Right? Am I fine? Hopefully. If any mistakes are there, please do correct me. You can personally message also. And there was a question on carcinoma larynx. Vocal cord was mobile. So vocal cord movement was not restricted. Means it is not even T2. It is T1 and M0, M0. Then that should be stage 1. If vocal cord movement was restricted stage 2, T2, and fixed vocal cord T3. I told you this repeatedly, right? So in stage one and two, it will be only radiotherapy. Nasopharyngeal cancers and laryngeal cancers are highly radio sensitive, right? Treatment is radiotherapy. Rini positive in both ears. Weber lateralized to left side, which is affected. So Weber lateralizing towards affected side, but uh, here the catch point is Rini is positive. If Weber lateralizing towards the left side, so what could be the, what you will think it is as, Weber is confirming it as left conductive hearing loss, right? Okay. Was this the question or any other additions and modifications are there in this question? This line tells that left Weber lateralizing towards left side affected and affected side is also left side means it should be conductive hearing loss. If it is very, very mild conductive hearing loss, sometimes you may get Rini positive only. Okay. So this should be left conductive hearing loss only. Right. Fine. Okay. Identify the pure tone audiogram. Both sides, right side, red for right, RR, I told you, and left side, blue, right? So both sides, you have gap, airborne gap was there, bone conduction was normal, air conduction was affected. It should be bilateral conductive hearing loss, right? So straightforward, very easy questions were there. Voice change after thyroid surgery, patient cannot sing high pitch note, means that tensor action is lost. So who is tensing the vocal cords? Cricothyroid. Who is supplying the cricothyroid? EBSLN, external branch of SLN, right? 
Am I right? Okay, fine. Right. And facial nerve identification in the parotid region. If in the parotid region the question was asked, then it should be tragal pointer. So one centimeter deep to the tragal pointer cartilage, you will have find the facial nerve deep inside. Right, just one centimeter near to the tracheal pointer, you will find the facial nerve. If it is in the neck anterior triangle, this should be the answer. But if it is in the given in the parotid region, it should be tracheal pointer should be the answer. Okay. And pinnaplasty age was asked. I told you it should be done after six years. Among the given options, the nearest option was five to seven year old. So you can choose that, right? So if muscle was asked, then it was cricothyroid. Okay. If muscle was asked, it was cricothyroid. Right. Okay. Okay, fine. Right. Rhinoscleroma management. I didn't get the options clearly. So what was the exact question on rhinoscleroma? Was the options given as surgical options were given or medical management was given? Usually, medical management will be your streptomycin, rifampicin, tetracycline will be there. So, Klebsiella was also mentioned in the question, if I am not wrong. Right? Right? If surgical management was asked, then you have to stenosis repair. You have to remove the nodules. Okay? Right? Okay. Both option was also there. Okay, fine. Right. So you have to medically give antibiotics to kill the bacteria and to reduce the stenosis, to clear the stenosis. The formation of nodules was there. To remove that nodules, you have to go for surgical excision of the nodules there. Right. Antibiotics plus surgery. So B is surgery. If C is both, then this will be the answer. Right. Right. How do we do biopsy in this case? You have to go for excision biopsy. So you have to completely excise this. Okay. And you have to send it for biopsy. Right. Chronic sinusitis. Saddle nose was given. Saddle nose deformity is seen in your septal hematoma complication. Granulomatous diseases like tuberculosis, sarcoidosis, and your vaginers. In all those cases, you can see saddle nose deformity. So this image was also given and asked laryngomalacia, omega shaped, omega shaped epiglottis. Right? Okay. No, you can go for complete excision, no? You can go for complete excision biopsy for a small tumors, no? If it is of large size, then you may go for wedge biopsy. If it is of small size, you can go for excision biopsy, no? Okay. Any further questions are there? Cricothyroidotomy site, okay, fine. So overall, the paper was easy, I think, right? I didn't get the exact options. So I will fill it and again I will uh, post it in the app as a recall. I mean, okay, your PYQ video. Any further doubts? It was large. So if it was large, you can go for wedge biopsy. If this was large, then large size, then you can go for wedge biopsy. If this was the image given, then it should be complete excision biopsy. Steeple with inspiratory stridor is seen in croup. Steeple sign is seen in croup, not laryngomalacia. No, not brushing. Okay. Any further questions I am missing here? Overall paper was very easy. Fine. So 14 to 15 questions have come and it was very easy, right? Straightforward. Many of our IBQs, image-based questions, right? Okay.
So any doubts, you can personally message me. So with this, I'll be uh, closing my session.